Hi there. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to apply materials and modify those materials, and then uh, make a nice look and render. It's got a pretty good, uh, pretty little rendering engine built into it. So I've got my finished model here, and I'm not really sure what the default material is. Actually, kind of, uh, I reassigned this for this tutorial, but uh, it's going to be something like this, kind of a, a, a general metally kind of thing. So the first thing I need to do is go to Model and select Render. So this will take us into the, the rendering side of things. And uh, just to check out a render right off the bat, I'm going to go to the little teapot icon here. And we can turn that on. And the default setting is probably going to be Normal, which, uh, which will look like this. And this is OK, but it is by no, uh, no means the best uh, that we can do. So I'm actually going to go from from uh, uh, normal to advanced, and you'll see uh, pretty quickly it starts looking pretty nice. I'm going to pause the video here and let this kind of uh, render in for a second. Okay, so here it is after two minutes of rendering, and you can see it looks a lot better. And I could certainly just let this keep going, uh, and it would continue to uh, re resolve and become more and more refined, and it would look pretty great. So uh, that's pretty much all there is to setting up the uh, the render quality. You can do other things like if you come to the environment, you can rotate the environment around, you can change the exposure level, you can use either the environment background or custom color, you can turn on the ground shadow which is the stuff here, and uh, ground reflection which would sort of reflect the knife back here so the, the ground were super glossy. And you can also change the style, so I'll just show you uh, Plaza. These are basically just different uh, HDR maps, I think. So if we go to Plaza, you can see uh, it's got a little bit of blue light in there, and there's probably some Plaza stuff. So maybe if I just give this a little rotation, you can see the, the shadow on the floor there kind of indicating which direction the light is going to be coming from. And so something like that might look nice. Let me give it a little pause here. So anyway, that's what that looks like. And uh, let's go ahead and throw some different materials on here now. I'm going to go to the beach ball icon, which is where all of the materials live. And it'll just kind of refine in the background. So hopefully the video playback is going to be OK. I'm not real sure how processor intensive it is. It can get a little bit uh, laggy if, uh, if it's rendering in your computer, kind of you know tries to turn off the monitors and put itself to sleep. Waking back up can be a little bit of a thing. But if you've ever used uh, Keyshot, this will look very familiar. I'm going to go to Metal. So I'd like to put kind of like a, a dull patterned uh, handle on here. So we can go ahead and go to, oh, I don't know, something like Stainless. And some of these are, they have transparency on them. And you can actually do a drag and drop operation, uh, which is pretty nice. And you can see, obviously, this is, is huge. Um, but uh, they will have, you can see kind of th straight through them. Let me see if I can modify this. So now this guy lives up here, I can double click it and go to scale. And let's see, I think increasing the scale, uh, re uh, reducing the scale makes the pattern tighter. And it's just basically going to do kind of a projection thing, kind of a 3D projection. So if I wanted something that didn't actually have little holes poked in it, uh, you can come down and let's see something like uh, knurled perhaps. I guess I need to do a drag and drop. Yeah, that's probably perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and modify this. Double click it. I guess I need to double click this one here, and I'm going to go to advanced. So with advanced, you can change the cutout image. You can change the uh, the bump map image you want to do that. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and reduce this, so we'll say maybe 25. And rotation's fine, but I want to make it much rougher and darker. And that might be a little bit too small with the pattern there. Try to find the sweet spot. Maybe 45 or 46 if I can't type 45. Okay, so that's looking close enough. 
And uh, what you can see is when I do my my applying here, it doesn't actually. You know, this is a little bit dark. Let me let me change my uh, my environment back to from Plaza to Sharp Highlights, and turn the exposure up a little bit. So I think I will go back to Plaza and just turn the exposure up. There we go. So on this side, it's going to be this uh, this knurling pattern that we created. And if I want it to also apply to the other side, I simply have to drag and drop. And you can, if you want, like if I had some, if I wanted to put something on this little piece there, you can switch this from bodies and components to faces, and then, you know, you get access to individual faces. So if you have, uh, you know, like a little red painted spot in the back of your gun scope or whatever, uh, that's pretty easy to handle. So I'll, uh, I'll pause this for a moment. And there you can see after about 30 seconds, it's already starting to resolve there. So there you go, that's the, uh, that's the rendering and material assignment crash course for Fusion 360.